Hello, I am the Silver Wheel Witch. I am here today to do another book flip through review for you. The book I have today is Blackthorn's Botanical Magic, The Green Witch's Guide to Essential Oils for Spellcraft, Ritual, and Healing by Amy Blackthorn. And she is the founder of Blackthorn Hoodoo Blends. This book is published by Wiser Books. And the back of it has as most do, a nice blurb about the book. There we go. Now this is a really great book and it's actually a quite popular one as well. Um, with that, it does have a lot of good information in it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, the inside has some praise for the book actually quite a few pages and then we have the title page uh, this is the first edition published in 2018 by wiser books and the copyright is in 2018 and it looks like we have a quote here, which I will give you a close-up of. As well as a disclaimer, which I will give you a close-up of that as well. In case you would like to pause and read that. Okay. So from there we have a contents, very short, simple, to the point. Uh, it's just this one page. And again, let you have a close-up of that as well. So the book does do a really good job in the beginning first chapters, going over some basics. Uh, throughout the book, you will see these dotted boxes that have little additional tidbits of information, which is nice to see. From chapters two through six, it has really good, just basic knowledge, information you need to know when working with essential oils. And chapter two itself is just a brief correspondence. So it gives you some colors, days of the week, and moon phases. That's pretty much, aside from the plants themselves, the correspondence with them, um, that's pretty much the correspondence in this book. And the rest of these chapters are your good basic information that you need to know in working with the plants and oils. And then from chapter six here, we have a good chunk, which is this nice big chunk of the book here, that is all the oils from A to Z. So it just gives you basically, let me show you a good plant here. Um, bay laurel so it gives you scientific name botanical family origins source um, it gives you the application element day magical uses planet astrology um, some suggested crystals to use with it deities um, also in the dotted box it gives you some warnings and most of them have some herbal lore as well as uses and then each herb has different types of uh, things that you can craft or spells whatever you can do with the oils so for this one for instance has an obstacle removing incense obstacle removing diffuser blend happy trails oil an all-purpose ritual incense an all-purpose ritual diffuser so you know, of course, she's got different oils and stuff throughout, but just different ways to use this specific oil. And actually, this one looks like it also has a long night's ritual work and uh, doubt be gone, empowering mist. And that's pretty much the format throughout the book for all the herbs. Um, so once you get through the herbs, which is the good chunk or oils, um, good chunk of the book here 
we get to chapter seven, which is botanical divination. Um, she actually, in this section, gives a really brief, like, half-page def uh, definition of, say, tarot, oracle, runes, like, all different types of divination, scrying, um, and different types of scrying, tea leaf reading. Um, it all seems a little bit, to me, a little out of um, place in a book that is based on essential oils and their use, um, but yeah, it's got some good basic information in here basically on divination. And then that brings us to the appendices. And these are pretty good. She's got some uh, phototoxicity and protecting your skin, oils to avoid during pregnancy, um, testing your oils for quality and purity, some different testing methods, um, really good information in the appendix, uh, botanical magical resources, additional list of resources, which is nice. Um, and then it goes into a glossary. So the glossary is not very big, but it does have the basic terms that you would want and need to know when working with the essential oils. And then she has a recipe index, which is nice because, you know, with each herb, the recipes and things in the back of each herb are all very, you know, different. So this kind of brings you some structure away to look up some of these recipes um, outside of looking it up by the name of the herb. So by its purpose, you're able to look it up as well. So that makes the book a little bit more useful um, for crafting oils and spells and such. So I really quite like that. And then she has her bibliography as well, your typical bibliography. Um, it's almost three pages long and she's got a good blend of books in here uh, related to green witchcraft and the subject with oils and so forth. And that's it. She does have a nice little half page here of acknowledgments. No index in this book, which is unfortunate. I really would like to see indexes in books like this that are used for reference. And there you have it.